Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about my experience with online school. I went to um, a school that was online called Kava, and it's through K-12. Basically, the school was just kind of like a regular school, but it was just all online. So you take all these classes, and I think you can take up to nine classes, and it, it was just a great school if you guys are wondering about that. So, um, I wish I was still in it. Not, no, actually I don't wish I was still in it. I wish I could show you what it looks like. Um, I'm going to see if they have it on my phone, but basically let me give you a kind of description or kind of overview of the school. So, Kava stands for K uh, Kava stands for California Virtual Academy, and if you guys have ever seen those, um, if you guys have ever seen those commercials on the TV or just on your computer of K twelve, it's through K twelve, and there's different academies depending on what state you live in. So. Since I live in California, mine was California Virtual Academy. They have different ones. Yeah, see, it won't even let me log in anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so basically this is what it looks like, the home screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it was a very good school. You can basically... You do your own hours. So, what you do is you go to um, some live sessions. It's not always required that you go to them. Some of them are mandatory, but when they say mandatory, they don't really mean mandatory. Cause, but you should probably still go. So, this is the website, k12.com. Or actually, no, this is the Kava website. So, this is through what um, the state that I live in. So, basically, every week on Monday you have a weekly starter, and that gives you, like, a phrase that pays is what they call it. You enter that in, and that kind of counts as, like, a quiz, just making sure you watched it, and it's no more than 15, maybe sometimes 30 minutes, but um, it's not that bad. Then, on top of that, you have to read a daily lesson, and... Every almost every day you take a quiz on that daily lesson so it's like a three to five question quiz and some of them are multiple choice some of them are fill in depending on what class it is um, all of your quizzes and tests are a majority multiple choice I have had classes like science classes where it's where like two or three questions is kind of like fill it in and then the teacher grades it not like multiple choice at all so um but yeah a majority of them are fill in the blank and sometimes you get to take a test or a quiz you can never really retake tests um you'll have to ask your teacher about that then she'll help you find ways to retake it most likely it'll be a session you have to go to, but um, anyways, so quizzes you can take anywhere from one to unlimited times, and it's really cool that they do that because then you can study more, you can um, get the knowledge you need to pass the class and to pass the test, and which is what they want you to do. They want you to pass the test, so they want you to know all the answers, that way you can pass the test so um grade book grading is like the same as regular school you get letter grades uh percentages um let me just tell you there is like a billion assignments and not all of them are time consuming unless unless you don't keep up on it it's you can get so far behind in that school by just missing two to three days because it's they give you so much on top of daily lessons and taking a quiz you also have to do book work 
you have to do a study guide. It's The study guide is not mandatory, but you will probably benefit from it on top of actual assignments that you have to do. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it if your vision isn't good and or you just want to stay home, or whatever your situation may be, it's totally worth it if it's gonna, if you're gonna benefit from it. Meaning, if you're going to an actual school where you actually go there every day, and you will not succeed, but you will succeed in online school, then basically, it would, it would be worth it. Um, I, for me, it was worth it. I always struggled a lot in school, and with online school, I I could see everything, and it wasn't bad at all. Um, it was pretty awesome. So, um, even just that, even if you just have a hard time sitting in class and actually focusing and learning and all that, it's still worth it to kind of try Kava. And you can always go back to your regular school. Um, you can just do it for a semester. And then go back if you don't like it. It's just, it's always a choice. But, um, yeah, so I would, I would recommend it. I would give it, um, I would give it 9 out of 10 stars. Only because they're, the teachers are kind of annoying. They keep up on you, which is a good thing. But even when you're working on assignments, they, like, can still call your parents and tell them, hey, you haven't done this. And then you'll get in trouble and be like, no, I'm actually working on this right now. And then it's just, ugh, it's annoying. But um, they they mean well. They just want you to graduate and get on with life and stuff like that. So if you guys have any more questions, I know this video is kind of scattered. I should have made, like, a list of things to talk about. But if you guys want to know more about it, I can do a more in-depth video about it. I just wanted to kind of go through the basics of it, just in case some of you wanted to look into it or are looking into it. It would be pretty awesome. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.